thinking about whether to hire a business coach or a therapist or a life coach for the next chapter of your life, I'm gonna give you the details about exactly how to do it right and whether coaching or therapy is right for you. Here are just a few things that you need to know before making that investment. And how do I know this? Well, I'm Bunny Young, and aside from being your favorite business therapist here on the Power of Purpose channel, I'm also a licensed professional counselor or therapist and have been a therapist for over a decade. And being a therapist for over a decade means that I have literally spent thousands of hours in therapy with individuals just like you trying to help them make their world a better place. And now through a better place consulting, I am a business coach or a business therapist. And so I get to see both sides of it. And I'm here to share all the information that I have with you. Are you ready? By the end of this video, you're not just gonna have the decision on whether to hire a coach or hire a therapist for your life. You're actually going to know how to find that person, what you should be asking, and how to get the most out of that relationship. And this is my disclaimer, is that what I'm sharing with you in this video is from me working with literally thousands of clients, both as a therapist and as a coach. This is a very personal decision. And so do spend a good amount of time with yourself and these answers to these questions that I'm about to ask you in order to find the right answer for you. Oh, hi, Guinness. And then there's Guinness the service dog. <laughs> He's here to help you as well. So now as a Mastery Method certified coach and having done this with executives and small business owners and people that are probably going through the same stuff that you're asking yourself right now, I'm able to share with you these tips on how to not just make the most difference and most out of your investment, but also make the most impact. And so when you're sitting down to make this choice, I want you to think about the difference between therapy and coaching is that therapy is for healing. And it's not to say that coaching is not healing, but therapy is for somebody that is struggling with anxiety, struggling with depression, struggling with something that they can't overcome without the help of a professional. Coaching is to take somebody who, I'm gonna use the word, is relatively stable in their lives and they're not dealing with this massive amount of struggling to get out of bed or can't fall asleep. They just have the desire to take themselves to the next level. They don't necessarily have mental health obstacles the way that individuals who would consider therapy do. They are just looking for somebody to help them with accountability and to really push. Whereas in therapy, the therapist doesn't really want to push their patient or their client per se because of the obstacles that they're dealing with. It's more of a gentle process. And again, both can be gentle and both can be not gentle. You're going to be able to find individuals like therapists and coaches that have different personalities. So I'm just giving you the general outline. Therapy is to be okay with where you are at and be able to wake up in the morning in a positive space. And coaching is to really up level that positive space to the next chapter of your life. Hopefully that breaks it down in general terms. And that still doesn't answer on which one is right for you. And so that is a personal choice. If you want to talk to your healthcare provider about what you're feeling and about what you're experiencing, and they recommend a therapist, then maybe listen to them, but also be honest with yourself. And good coaches will tell you when you need a therapist. Here's the other thing. You can have both at the same time. My recommendation would be that you're in communication with both of them about your treatment goals in therapy and about your life goals in coaching and make sure that the coach is not therapizing you and the therapist is not coaching you, but that they're working together in some way, shape or form for your benefit and the benefit of your life. Hopefully you've gotten your pen and paper by now. The Power of Purpose channel is definitely experiential videos where you get to participate because I want you to get more out of it. So you can take notes and you can also answer these questions. So you can rewind, pause, go back and write down some of the things that, what are your goals? And based on your goals, if it's not to feel anxious, if it's to have a better relationship with your spouse, those are the kinds of things that you want to look at what your goals are and say, would a coach be better for this? or would a therapist be better for this? Knowing what they specialize in. And there are coaches that specialize in relationships. But if you're at a point in your relationship where all you're doing is arguing and you're not hearing each other and it's kind of in crisis and it's 
at a point where it's affecting your mental health, you might want a relationship therapist. So that is your decision. It's a very personal decision whether you go with a coach or whether you go with a therapist. And again, it's your decision. I'm just giving you the outlines that hopefully be able to strengthen the decision that you make for yourself. One of the simplest things that I will share with potential clients about the difference between coaching and therapy is therapy is for breakdowns, coaching is for breakthroughs. And I don't mean that in a negative way, but just think about it. A therapist can hold space for you to truly heal. A coach is there for a certain period of time for a certain objective and for you to up-level your life. So that is the filter that I run these conversations through. Is this person headed for a breakdown or a breakthrough? And because I'm a therapist, it doesn't mean that I don't work with clients who are going through a breakdown. And I also think it's really important to know that all coaches are not retired therapists. There are some of us out there, but it's few and far between. And if somebody needs mental health intervention, even I'm going to send them with a referral to a therapist. A therapist's role is to listen and provide that space. A coach's role is to decrease the learning curve and accelerate results. And neither of them are responsible for either of those things. You get to pick the environment that will most match the results that you want. A therapist isn't responsible for you hitting that seven figure mark in your business. And a therapist is not responsible for you feeling less stressed. Both of those are your responsibility. You just get to pick your partner on that journey and who you feel like is going to best support that outcome. So that was how you choose between a therapist and a coach. Now, once you choose how to get the most out of that relationship, let's dive into it. So when you're choosing your professional, actually for either a therapist or a coach, look for somebody who can really align with your values. and somebody that you're going to be comfortable sharing with and being authentic with, because the more honesty that you can bring to your session, the more value that you're going to get in return. When looking at a coach, I also like to be able to have a clarity session with that coach or a conversation with that coach and really gauge their intuition because they may be able to see things that I don't if they have that intuitive extra. I also will message them after our initial session and this, again, is for a coach or for a therapist, being able to message them and see how quickly do they respond? How do they respond? Do they respond? And this really helps me get to wrap my head around the cadence of what it's gonna be like to work with them. A lot of coaches promise these results and I wanna know how they're gonna deliver on those results. What do they expect out of me? What's that communication style going to be like? Whereas in therapy, typically it's just the 60 minutes or so in a session that you're really working on that desired result. Coaching, you could get access to that person through a messaging app, or maybe they have a course that you can take or articles or blogs that you can use as resources. And there's typically gonna be homework that is involved in coaching. Not as much in therapy. It doesn't mean that there's not gonna be an exception, but typically you're working on that issue with that therapist during that time. And you may be meeting once a week, you may be meeting at once a month. And so the frequency is another variable factor to make sure that you're getting clear on when choosing whether to work with a coach or with a therapist. So that was your crash course on coaching versus therapy. So hopefully now you know a little bit about the difference between coaching and therapy, how you're going to pick your professional and how to get the most out of your coaching. I know you still have questions, so go ahead and leave them below in the comments or reach out to me on Instagram at bunnyhas6legs and I will be happy to answer any and all of your questions. You know that I read every single comment and reply because it means the world to me when we get to have a conversation and this isn't just me talking to a camera lens, but actually I'm talking to you. So thank you for making the world a better place. And I'm Bunny Young and I'll see you next time on the Power of Purpose channel.